Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 3rd of April 2023. And we have a little yeah, news for, for our own side. Whiskey.com is expanding to the Netherlands. Yes, you can now buy whiskey from whiskey.com, actually officially whiskey.de, but you can buy it there. Um, yeah. And just we send it to you over over to the Netherlands. If you go to whiskey.com, you will find the shop. And if you live in the Netherlands, you can get your whiskey there. So you can join our live tastings with the actual bottles in hand. If you know someone from, from the Netherlands who might be interested in that, then please share this news. Yeah, let's get into the actual whiskey news, not just the shameless self-promotion. We start, as always, with Scotland. Tomatin has a 45-year uh, whiskey on the market. It's actually a travel retail exclusive, but maybe it will reach other markets as well. It was matured in Oloroso Sherry Cask, 41.5% ABV, limited to 225 bottles, and it will be sold at around 8,500 euros, pounds, dollars, in that range. It's really, really expensive. Yeah, then we have Jura Bourbon Cask. The Jura Bourbon Cask is uh, replacing the Jura Journey and will be the beginner's bottling of the Jura Distillery. Matured in American White Oak, X Bourbon Casks, 40% ABV, and of course, available at whiskey.com for the sale in the Netherlands. Then I have the news from like the video yesterday of Horst, the Artbeck Bizarre Barbecue. Uh, the Bizarre Barbecue is a yeah, combination or a collaboration between Dr. Bill Lumpson and Master Barbecue Chef Christian Stevenson alias DJ Barbecue. And they have actually made like really interesting uh, casts together with a very a lot of charring and barbecue casts with very, very much charring yeah then we have news from Diageo and they are starting like a, yeah, a really a big study about the uh, maturation of casks at the University of Harriet Watt and they will uh, take three years for the cask maturation to take place and study the chemistry and actually scan the casks and give them all a kind of a fingerprint and talk to coopers, distillers, blenders and get their knowledge in there. And the university tries to then create a machine learning system uh, that is trained for the um, yeah, prediction of quality of taste during maturation. Very interesting. Then we have Glenfiddich Grand Yotsukara. Yotsukura. 29 years. It's the first Glenfiddich or first whiskey uh, that has been matured in ex Awamori casks. Awamori is the oldest uh, distilled spirit in Japan. And yeah, the Yatsunkura is a kind of a Sakura, Night Sakura. And it's uh, also has the design and everything is an homage to the Hanabi, that is the um, cherry blossom festival in japan and the design comes from the japanese uh, artist june yeah then we have the next up is the tomatin kubokan number five it's called creation a matured and refill hogsheads and colombian Colombian un, uh, from the Colombian and uh, alps the um they have special casks so it's the first uh, a scotch from the um, yeah from Colombia of Colombian oak, limited to eight thousand four hundred bottles, forty six percent ABV. Then we have Beam Centauri, and they are planning new warehouses. They're actually planning it on a on a size of seventy thousand square meters. That's fifteen warehouses, and also yeah, kind of yeah, also other buildings for people to uh, to work in, not just for the whiskey. 500,000 casks should be stored there in Kingswell, East Ayrshire, that's like southwest of Glasgow in the lowlands of Scotland. The, um, yeah, they want to actually start or get the whole permits in summer 2023. So it's not really in, in, yeah, in the green yet. 
Then we have more golf from Loch Lomond and are bringing out two new bottlings, the 151, 51st golf opening in Liverpool. I have like a QR code argumented reality on the bottles. Yeah, you know, the, the new age gimmicky stuff. Uh, the first one is the Loch Lomond Open Special Edition 2023, no age statement, 46% ABV, and the Loch Lomond The Open Course Edition 2023. It's a 22-year-old, 48.2% ABV, and limited to 4,200 bottles. Then we have a new distillery. This, time's, uh, this time it comes from Orkney. Yes, you heard right. The island very, very north of Scotland has the new distillery, Deerness Distillery. It only cost 800,000 pounds, so it was said, and is the first distillery since 138 years on the Orkney Island. It should start building in 2023, in summer, so this year in summer, and they're planning to start with 200 casks. I think that's a year, and it should be a lightly peated whiskey. So it's really nice to have um, now three distilleries on the mainland of Orkney. Then we have an, a project from Bruchladi. It's called the Regeneration Project. The first whiskey from mainly Isla Rogan uh, Rye, Isla, Isla Rye, 55% rye, 45% malted barley. That's why you can't call it a single malt, so they call it a single grain. And it's the uh, third bottling of the Brichladi Projects uh, series. Then we have a Signatory, and they are bringing out two new series and they are the horseman and the archangel it's very christian so the single molds are uh, are yeah meant to represent the four apocalyptic riders from the bible first one is a carl illa 2012 to 2022 and it's the horseman number one on the label you see the first horseman of the apocalypse of johannes of the book of Johannes and then it's very smoky uh, it's 12 years of age it's sherry butt and two uh, bourbon hogsheads so it comes to a total of 1238 bottles 58.4% uh, ABV next one is a Ben Nevis in 2014 2022 it's called Archangel number no. one the label shows the Archangel Gabriel it's eight years old first fill Oloroso sherry and second fill port pipe and it then totals to 1,336 bottles with 58.5% ABV. So yeah, that was it for Scotland. And now let's move to the United States. Maker's Mark and the Star Hill Farm getting a certification of regener Reginified. So they are regenerating the ecosystem around. And that's what the, why they got this certification for, because they are bringing so much uh, yeah, into the regeneration of the local ecosystem. Yeah, then we go into the international news. We had the the fire at the Elk Whiskey Distillery in Germany. And I think I've mentioned that like one week or two weeks ago. And now they're bringing out a new bottling, the Neustadt, which is like new beginning or new start. Seven years. It's an ex-cognac casks. Uh, seven years of whiskey, ex-cognac casks. And yeah, the surplus will be uh, spent into the distillery to rebuild the distillery to get yeah a fresh start yeah that was it with the news today thank you very much for watching and see you next time